Hi everybody, this is just going to be a short video to show you how to record in uh, Kaltura, which is what's inside your Canvas as a recording tool that everyone can get to, and embed it in the course, so either in the discussions or somewhere else if you need to. And uh, then for those who are interested, I will also put a little bit about captioning your video at the end. So to start with, you want to get into the My Media, Kaltura here in your Canvas site, and then you're going to go to Add New. If it's just a short video where you just want to see your face, the best option is Express Capture. So that's the one I'm going to go over right now. So Express Capture will come up with this little um, window here, and then you'll see yourself, and you'll have the Record button. You can see if you like how you're positioned or anything like that. Make sure you check your volume, and then you just hit Record. Give you a countdown. Hi, this is Dr. Nichols Boyle and welcome to the course. I hope that you will enjoy recording videos for yourself. And then Hi, this is Dr. Nichols Boyle and welcome to the course. I hope that you will enjoy recording videos for yourself. So as you can see, it will automatically play what you have recorded and then you can decide whether you want to use this or not. And if you don't like it, you can just hit record again and you will be able to do it um, again and replace this. Uh, if you want to keep a copy for yourself outside of Canvas, this is where you should download a copy because otherwise it's going to be hard to get to in the future. Um, otherwise, you can just hit use this and it will process it. This is a short one, so it will process quickly. It might take a few more minutes for a longer one. And then you could name it something. I'll just name this um, how to record Kaltura video. You can put it with your name or whatever the assignment is. I would suggest probably keeping it private for now so that you still have access to it and then you can choose where to publish it. If you hit published, it will just ask you if you want to put it into the gallery that the whole class can see. So if you do that, you would hit publish and then you can just choose which of your courses it would publish to. Um, but you don't need to publish it in order to put it into a discussion or another page later. All right, so private and then save. You could put description and tags in there if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. All right, so once you've saved, you can go back to the media. And here it is. Um, just to make sure it's there, great. So now when you go to my media, you will see that video appear in the list of your recordings. Now, how do you take that and embed it into the course or put it in discussions? So if you were to say in the discussion, I'm asking you to record a video and submit it in your response, you would put it in the reply section and you're going to go to this thing that looks like a little uh, cord, little plug, and you hit that plug, it's the apps one, and you click on embed Cultura Media. And once you click this, it will come up with all of your video options, everything that you have recorded, and you select the one you want. So I would select this one here, achieving content, and then it should appear just in the box like that. And then you would post your reply after you maybe have written a little bit, and there you go. That's all you need to do. It works the same for instructors. If uh, you are this is all you need to know. You can stop the video now. But if you're an instructor, you could also do the same thing in pages or syllabus. Um, so in pages, if you're having a new page here, you would again just go to the plug, embed Kaltura Media, and work from there. For the syllabus section, you need to, it always appears the same size, by the way, you can't really get it smaller. But for the syllabus section, it's the same thing, but there's one little more step, which is just to take the more button here and then go to the plugin and go from there. So those are the ways to record and embed. It's pretty easy if it's just you want your face. And then for captioning, if that's something that you want to do, what you need to do is go back into my media. And yes, you can go through the official um, request way of doing it as well. 
but if you just kind of want to do a, a quick and dirty one and this is how you want to do it for the classroom, you think it might be useful for your students, then you go into it and hit um, My Media. So you go to the media here. And then there's an option in the actions that says caption and enrich. So you go caption and enrich and it will automatically usually do a machine one. I mean, it has an order one here that might be charged to the department, but the machine one actually works pretty well. And it says it has something like a uh, 30 minute turnaround. So I'll show you one that I did previously just to give you a sense of what it looks like when it's done. If it's not so busy, I got it done almost immediately, but I'm guessing a lot of people are using this right now. So if I go back to the main media page here, my media, and I choose a different one. So this is actually, I think put in media gallery. This is one that I used before and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. And I'll show you how you can get in to edit the captions. So this was just a little test I did earlier. And you'll see if, if somebody wants to play it, they'll just hit show transcript and it will have the transcript here. And as you play it, it will follow along the words. Hi, I'm just trying to check out how to do this and also download it for now. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, it works out really well for the student. However, it'll just come in one giant log of text if you have not done this yourself before it won't uh, format it for you. So you might have to go in and do a little bit of that. So if I went into edit this same one here, I go into the edit function and I go into the captions and then I go to edit captions. So I can play along and follow it and see if it's correct or not. And for example, the first time that I did this, it said Jello instead of for now. So I just, you know, erased it out and then hit for now and added the capital and made it a new sentence. Um, so you can go through and space this out and change it. You can also just add more here, that kind of thing as well. So this is how you would work with the captioning. It's not perfect, but it's a little bit easier. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. Okay, so that's it for the major functions, um, the ones with the screen, if you want to show the screen instead of your face, uh, then you would choose a different option and I'll show a different video for that.